Hi there good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'll be doing one fragrance review today because it's going to be a very popular perfume that people want to see review. It's a flanker basically from House of Armov. After a long time, I think not a long time, I did recently two Armov perfumes. So this is like a CD name, Club Dino Intense Man, a perfume, pure perfume version. Okay. So this one I just got, I'll do an initial impression and I'll give you an update somewhere in a couple of weeks or months after wearing it thoroughly. But uh, given, you know, like one day's wearing what I got, performance, if it is a good projector, the things that you want to know, initial impression, whatever I got, I will tell you. So to match the city name, I'm wearing all black. Even the watch is black, a classic. Uh, and I woke up uh, middle of the night, it's around 6 a.m. Here, my bird is going to wake up very, very soon. So before they wake up, I want to, you know, like they will need a lot of <laughs> uh, feed and then they will start playing. But before that, I want to do this review and upload it for you. So... I'll talk in depth and I'll show you some of the other ones that I got and I have a little bit of neck cramp so it's a little bit bothering but I'll try to you know march through so uh, let me start with this one before I go with original I mean like the perfume let me show you where it all started I put a sticker on it I still have some juice left in my 2016 UAE batch and you guys know this is that famous one that very very strong performer one this is the silver sprayer UAE version so I actually have reviewed every single one of them from this line I used to have a couple more but I finished them and I didn't repurchase let me show you some other one I think I have a made in France version and I used to have the reformulation UAE version then I did buy Club New Intense Man Pure Oil the 20 ml fantastic fragrance like fantastic fruity lemon blast and then uh, my review on this was I gave this the highest mark this is the limited edition, I think, uh, EDP, Club New Intense Man, limited edition one, okay? I think there's a perfume version, I'm not sure. Then there is this non-alcoholic version, like uh, no alcohol, just uh, no alcohol version. So this one was very fruity as well, sprayable, uh, more lemon, citrusy. So basically, that's the whole lineup of CD name. And then I used to have also um, CD name EDP and then CD name uh, UA version, which was like a newer version. So Sydney basically Club the Intense Man, if you know already, it's a clone of Aventus, which is a very popular perfume. No need to introduce this and no need to introduce Sydney also. I did not repurchase Sydney, uh, Creed Aventus or even Aventus Cologne. Whatever I used after that, I have left this much for me. I always show you I use this only on special days or when I have the mood. And Sydney basically uh, in 2015, it got huge hype. Everybody was reviewing this. Even till now, it gets the talk. Obviously, the other companies now, they're there, Explorer by Mont Blanc, Laventure, you name it. There are a lot of insertion uh, by, uh, what's that fragrance house? Anyway, you know. So there are tons of them out there and you can pick whatever you want. But this particular one, if you are interested, I'll give you an idea. So, yeah, CD name, I know <laughs> this perfume for a very long time. So I got this in 150 ml. I don't know what are the bottle size in this, 105 perhaps and 150 or maybe just 150 Usually, a CD name also offered in 200 ml. The EDP can be had for 200 ml. The price for 200 ml is, uh, I think, the funny thing is they're all almost the price the same. You know, if you consider them 105 ml, if you equip them, more or less they're all the same. Somewhere in CD name, the EDT, this one, someone tell me, told me yesterday, I don't know if it's in pa Pakistan or where, uh, he said that one is more expensive than the pure perfume version. I don't know, that's just weird, but it's not supposed to be. This is supposed to be more pricey. So this one I think is $50 right now. So that's give or take is a good price. Other countries could be more or less. Back looks like this, distributed by Starling Perfumes. And um, this is perfume, pure for perfume concentration, sprayable. Okay, that's the box. Nothing crazy going on here. And this is 150 ml made in France, I guess. They're now all made in France. I don't think any of them is made in UA anymore. <clears throat> and then they started uh, following Creed somewhat with these uh, cards. It comes with this card. So it's okay. It's like, it reminds me of Creed. Oh, wow, there are birds out there, <laughs> morning birds out there, okay. So a typical bottle of Sydney. And uh, my bottle came a little bit, I don't know. I got this from Fragrantica Bangladesh. And I think these are like just lines or something. It's not dust. It's a big bottle. I did review uh, the EDP. That was also very, very big. The caps on these are nice. Like feels like ceramic. The sprayers are really, they improved upon. The older sprayers, this one, the atomizer silver sprayers were horrible. Didn't want to spray. And this has arm of detailing. I did review Milestone 
and I did review the other one, the silver bottle and then the women's line. So let's show you the spray and talk about it. Oh, before I do that, my scent of the morning, early morning is this one. I got this yesterday, Lacoste Long. Um, this is called what? Timeless. It's brand new. So I got a 50 ml of this. I saw it in one of the shops and I'm like, hey, let's just get it. I'll review this soon. Okay. So I'm wearing this on my both side of the shoulders. So that's a nice little perfume, rhubarb, tea, citrus. Let's just go. Very excited to review this. Sprayers are very, very good. Okay. So they did improve the sprayers. So how, how does this one go? So most, many of you wanted me to uh, compare this with the EDP limited edition. Other ones, I will give you a breakdown. But when I spray this, it's like this kind of like uh, liquid form. Let it settle down, let it dry a little bit. Then I will talk about it. So the price point wise, I think it's very fairly priced. Uh, maybe some of the countries will be $55 or so. Still, I think for 50, 150 mil, it's a good pricing. Atomizer is good. This bottle, some people like, some people don't. It's up to you totally. Sorry, the <laughs> watch is making some noise. Did the, you see, it's kind of annoying. Anyway, so this one, it's a very polished. You can, you would imagine, like, <clears throat> sorry, early morning. If you know this one, the pure perfume oil, okay. This was on the smoothest, no alcohol in this, obviously lemon very clean fruity almost reminds me of mansara cedra boise this was for me the best version of sydney because i can layer this with aventus i can layer this with cedra boise sounds that even aventus it will last like ages okay because the oil is just pure oil if you can get that get your hands on that one uh, this one reminds me of the oil version okay very uh, lemony creamy citrusy uh, like clean opening okay um, doesn't have like if i can compare it with the old vintage batch of the silver sprayer these sprayers i tried the yesterday for a long time i have about 10 15 20 mil juice left in this i wish i had more bottles but this one that had the worst opening like synthetic lemon opening it was very dark very dirty and then it's like not i would say off-putting in a way but it got really better on the dry down it gave you the smoky pineapple of the Aventus, okay, and the birch and all the other stuff. So this one lasted, the old versions, they last a long time. I gave two bottles to my dad. He used to wear this like all day and then it will last on him all day. So the longevity of this was like the best. If you can find this, this is the longest lasting of the whole line. I'm just telling you now. But compared to those, the older batches, these perfumes, EDP, with time, they made it more and more smooth. They did some research. They did some tweak here and there so that people find it like in the opening more pleasant i guess some people want more uh, fresh and clean opening rather than the dirty smoky opening so they achieved it with this and then i would say more uh, improvement these bottles now they give these uh, club de nuit writing looks nice i mean looks very nice in the sprayer thank god for the sprayer this is so good okay and the uh, bottle has good weight so the thing is longevity wise i think i got solid longevity i mean i could detect it after seven eight hours on my skin that's good you know Projection from this is uh, not like beastly like the EDP and the EDP. Okay, even this one, the limited edition, the EDP uh, I had, I get really confused with these because they are like the, all the same perfume, just mild differences here and there, like 95, 97, 9700. Uh, so compared to the limited edition, this one project also less because higher you go in concentration, they'll last long and then project less. This is how even the oil works. You can smell it all day like this but it will not project like the EDT okay so thing is like projection wise this is not the strong point of this for me I find this fragrance to be very long lasting very easy to wear and very smooth so many brothers yesterday said thanks joy for reminding us for uh, to wear this because this is the only one I have from the line and I can see why most refined version everybody wants so is this close to Aventus okay some point I felt uh, this to, you know you can cannot distinguish on the dry down you know they're very uh, if someone's smelling them from like you know like five six good feet they would say you are wearing Aventus but the people who are already expert now some of you are already experts like I am expert right now on these DNA I can tell when people are wearing Aventus and they're wearing Sydney the differences are massive when you are expert in this line of work okay uh, but I'm not bragging I'm just telling you Sydney it's a good perfume for the budget price bracket it's it's really good i can smell this absolutely everywhere in bangladesh this one dior sauvage 
or uh, some of the DNA is like duramine tans. Uh, what else? Uh, so people wear these, you know, they wear Dunhill Desire Red or something like um, what's the other perfume? Versace Purum. So these are more common DNA. This is very common right now since 2016 until 2022. So I would say six, seven years I've been seeing this one really picked up popularity. Original city name used to cost $22. Now in Bangladesh, the EDT goes over 35. Some places they're selling for 50 something dollars. Okay. So popularity, you know, that's what how they cash in and then the hype really worked. This is one of my uh, more watched videos, you know, city name, the whole line. So I'll tell you, <clears throat> if you have city name already, some of you are wondering, I'm going to get totally different experience here. Uh, you will get in terms of uh, the smoothness, the how nice the opening is and it doesn't smell like uh, that like a uh, strong stringent you know what's the word that's the word like the lemon some people say there it's off-putting it reminds me of something chemical like floor cleaner the one the more synthetic opening this one it's like very good quality so that's one difference you're gonna get second thing you're gonna get a good sprayer third thing you're gonna get is more refined perfume altogether they remove all the rough edges from Sydney and they made a very polished version if you layer this you don't need to layer anything I mean you can layer whatever you want or you don't even have to if you layer these two the perfume and then the perfume oil alcohol free I think these two will give you the best outcome if you want to project this is the trick if you have the EDT just layer with the perfume or the EDP you're gonna get like Dior Sauvage EDT EDP perfume if you combine them all you know the desired effect they have some of the best like some of them vanilla some of them have the Ambrox and pink pepper so it creates like the best experience from Savage. same thing with uh, Sydney but if you have if you have this only you can also wear it by itself no problem but here is my uh, ultimate conclusion on this Sydney line I felt they just released all the flankers possible I don't want to say they released too many flankers could be a good statement but I don't want to say that because if you are successful with one perfume you will definitely want to cash in they did milestone and the sillage you know from this line uh, silver mountain water clone uh, creed millis imperial clone so they did very good job in terms of like the popularity longevity and people actually buy them a lot so why not cash in but sydney they released the most number of flankers even there's a body spray version of it which i reviewed i think this is really really good if you don't have any of the sydney and you like creed aventus but it's sometimes selling for ninety nine hundred dollars now no point getting that one I mean the new 100 ml of Aventus yeah you get Creed Aventus but you spend a lot of money too this is a good alternative good alternative okay you can get Laventure Intense from Al Haramain equally good Sedrat Boise you know some of my favorite I'm not gonna say this is the best of them all there are other ones Sedrat Boise Intense I like that more than Aventus so if you like pineapple lemon and you want to ride the hype you can do it but if you already have Sidinim EDP I think you are good that's EDP 200 ml is a better value in my humble opinion that's the best bet you can get overall for your money but the perfume version pure perfume version you can give it a try if you finished your city name EDT and you want to try more smoother uh, like a cleaner version of it this is gonna do it for you very good longevity for office daily wear uh, signature scent one fragrance will do it for you all year round okay overall city name uh, you guys know my rating for this is very very high I think this is perhaps the most uh, complete and most uh, how to say uh, improved DNA of Sydney for sprayable okay so check it out Armaf Club New Intense Man um, pure perfume or perfume concentration that's my impression and uh, check out my review of all the other Sydney names you'll get a better idea take care have a nice day bye bye